Zeke, did you see Game of Thrones this week? Uh, are White Walkers dry as hell? My golly Moses. At the beginning, we had Sporty Spice. It was her first day back at CrossFit, but she was struck to funk pulling Miss Cleo through the snow. I know, I wasn't sure if Miss Cleo was warging or watching Fear and Loathing. We were somewhere around Barstow when the drugs began to take hold. There is no way of explaining the terror I felt. <laughs> And then this ferocious ass burner sweeps in to save the day with his fierce fire swinging skills. Meanwhile, Tubby Lubby took Leah Remini to meet his rich ass carb shaman daddy, who was like, yo, you fell off that paleo diet. Would you care for more bread? Yes, please. Not fat enough already. But apparently, being an asshole skips a generation because Tubby Lubby has to storm back into that food door and he says, girl, I cannot quit you. On his way out, he went all five finger discount on that sword. He was like, putting the steel back in Valerian steel. But then baby Casey, she's about to go full Nomi Malone on Bravosi Crystal Connors, but then at the 11th hour, she has a change of heart and she decides not to push her down the poison stairs. Careful of that one. She wants you dead. She drops out of assassin school and she only had like one semester left. It's a beautiful day here in King's Landing and welcome to our second annual Walk of Shame Parade. Brought to you by Macy's. You'll see it all today, folks. Short hair, boobs, spitting, screaming, and yelling, bloody feet, and a bell. Shame. Plus a visit from Santa Claus. But there was a big old French twist on that chignon. Together. We announce a holy alliance between the crown and the faith. Just like my main man, Tommy Jefferson would have wanted churches and states working together. How did you get tickets to Hamilton? Meanwhile, back at Claim Jumper, we had Road Hard put away soaking wet Lord Frey, who apparently had someone's like uncle tied up for two years. I literally don't know. Who is that? I don't know, who is that? I don't know, who is that? You're like the first straight guy in my chair of like in years, you should know who this is. It's like Game of Thrones, it's like your thing. And hunty, those flowers are still in the attic because we've got vintage Mia Farrow and Brother D having a Gorgina incest makeout for Roche Sesh. The only two people in the world. I hope that she is on the King's Landing Nuvering because she cannot have another kid right now. They need to keep it to handsies and blowsies. And if he's woke, go down to you. Stay woke. So then Uncle Bear Grills is making rabbit blood smoothies when he reveals that he's a biracial white walker. His children found me to stop the walker's magic from taking hold. For me, what I was living for the most with him is that he's really like straddling these two worlds. It's just like a white girl who goes to the Caribbean and comes back with cornrows. So when the last scene, Coachella is over, there's a ton of traffic on the 10 West, but not for my girl, Christina, cause she's taking the DOV lane. And not only is she the DOV lane, honey, she's giving us a full Oprah, her favorite things episode. You're a blood rider! You're a blood rider! You're a blood rider! Yes. And look under those horses, ladies, because you're all getting sick of! Boy, you are giving me some edges so fresh, sparrow realness. Where are my dragons?